So I'm just gonna go ahead and say hello to everyone and thank you for your patience with technology and all the things that it brings, the good, the bad, and just the mysterious. I would like to introduce uh, Organic and Natural just for a few seconds to let you know wh who we are if you're not familiar with us. I mean, we are a trade association in the dietary supplement space, but we're very unique in that we represent the entirety of the supply chain, all the way from raw ingredients to the consumer organizations that we support and the retailers that we love and adore who are getting all of this great product into the hands of consumers. For us, basically, you know, we have our great standards. We're very committed to regenerative and organi um, organic standards. We're really about creating a healthy planet for healthy people. So why the nourishment? Why go to all these links to create something that indeed can look very complex and sometimes is, but is also a lot of fun. And that's really because we knew what was missing was essentially the opportunity for us to collectively gather and be able to have sometimes very spontaneous conversations other times more organized about what's going on in the marketplace, what are the best products, what are consumers wanting, missing out on, and how do you get those products? So that's why we've gone out on this limb to take this live opportunity to bring you the best of what we consider the best and the brightest in the industry. We selected 20 companies to be able to do this program over two sessions. Uh, I wanna say a particular thank you to Infra, Sinpa, Mayho and Positively Natural who represent the independent retailers. We could not have done this without your participation and support. I'm indebted to you for that. And I would like to just go through a couple of housekeeping issues. So one, uh, all the presenters have many websites. As you scroll down the page, you'll see each uh, company with its logo and you can click there and get additional information on what they're talking about and certainly how to connect with them via email. So that's a great thing to remember and I'll remind you of that as we move through. Second, as I said earlier, the videos will be posted. The entire video of the program will be posted, but so will the individual videos when we get the opportunity to break them up with, so you can watch one company at a time. Uh, we'll say this again because people are still having trouble getting in, but Thirsty Thursday, which is, was our uh, sort of opportunity that we've been doing at Organic and Natural for seven weeks now to be in a collective conversation. We'll be on three different Zoom platforms. And to my knowledge, Zoom has not gone down today, though I have had that happen to me as well. And you'll be able to move around from Zoom to Zoom room. Just remember, every time you're on a Zoom, you gotta click out of it or you'll have problems getting on a second one. And there is a chat that's pretty active right now. And when Amy Summers of Pitch Publicity gets on, she'll be monitoring that chat, but she too is in the waiting room at the moment. You're also gonna get a survey uh, about the content and the, the, the style of the program. I encourage you to give us feedback. We need that so we can get better and better at it. Um, and then there are a couple of things about the actual um, program that you're using that I just wanna point out. When people speak, uh, about half will be using um, slides. So that will come up and then we will all disappear. There will be three of us, uh, there will be me, the two mentors, and I wanna thank our mentors for everything they've done. They're like seasoned professionals in the industry and they're gonna ask the best questions in the world. And you'll be, they might, we all might go into one box. And if that's the case, you don't have to look at this one of us the whole time. There's an arrow and you can click through that. You can also move the box physically, drag it to a different location if it's in the middle of your slides. And Rebecca, I will ask you if I've missed out on anything related to the, uh, the way to use the page. I think you got it. I think I got it, good, that's great. I'm glad that's working. So I'm gonna go ahead and get us started and I'm uh, honored really to bring up Megafood and Jeb Connor, who will be joined by Greg Horn and Anthony Zolazi, who's actually with us on the phone at the moment. Um, and Jeb, I'm gonna turn it over to you so you can make your presentation. Great, are you ready for me? I'm getting photo bombed here as we speak. Good timing. Um, Greetings, everyone. My name is Jeb Connor. I'm here today representing Megafood. Um, I'm here today to talk about our magnesium powders, but I want to take a quick 30 seconds just to either intro or refresh you on the brand Megafood. We're the original pioneer in the premium whole food category. We were started in 1973, more than 45 years as a brand. We are a manufacturer making, making our supplements with love in Londonderry, New Hampshire. We have nine current certifications. We are non-GMO, we are vegan, um, we are vegetarian for our supplements containing vitamin D, which we are using lanolin. 
We are kosher, we are gluten-free, we are soy-free, dairy-free. We are also the first recognized brand to be glyphosate residue-free. We also are a B Corp certified uh, company and we're very proud of our social impact work. So um, our magnesium powders, before I get into the powders, I want to uh, kind of run through some stats as to why we're entering into the category. Um, and let me also preface this by saying this is pre-COVID data. These products were pre-COVID. These statistics are pre-COVID. So 75% of US adults, about 190 million people are experiencing stress within the last month. So I'd safe to say probably that's 100% as of today. Uh, the age group most affected is the 30 to 49 year old age group and studies are showing that women are more stressed than men. Magnesium continues to grow with 8% uh, year over year growth and the powder format holds the largest share of the category at 35%. Um, the segment has also benefited from new formats like gummies and chews, which has grown 120%. So as most of you know, magnesium is recommended, or I shouldn't say recommended, I should say suggested, supports muscle relaxation, um, eases muscle tension, and also promotes a sense of calm. So our magnesium powders were formulated by Dr. Tarone Lodog. Tarone is one of our country's foremost experts in dietary supplements and botanical medicine. These products are formulated to be gentle and effective. We are using three forms of magnesium, citrate, glycinate, and malate. Heat skew has 300 milligrams of magnesium. We're going to have two flavor offerings, a blackberry hibiscus and a raspberry lemonade. They will be sweetened with monk fruit, and they're going to be available in a 50-serving uh, satchel and also a 30-serving container. Our magnesium chews, they're going to be 250 milligrams per serving. And if you're familiar with our multi-chews, they're going to be similar in composition. So this is going to be a 250 magnesium malate and citrate. They are going to be gelatin-free, very low sugar, three grams of sugar per serving. They are going to be great flavored. And all these SKUs are going to be available at the end of July. So thanks for uh, the opportunity for me to present today. And I, uh, I welcome your questions. Thank you very much, Jeff. Greg, would you, would you like to start with a question? Yeah, I, I, I know that, uh, that Mega Food does a great job at, at kind of clean label. Can you just go, Jeb, and give us just a, another sense of how this magnesium is, is purely mega food? Um, well, when we talk about like our entire um, portfolio, we, we really look closely at, we want to practice what we preach. So when we talk about regenerative agriculture, we're not just looking at our supply chain, but we're looking at our carbon footprint. We're looking at our gas, our water, our electricity, our packaging. So we're really going through our entire supply chain to make sure that we're, we're checking all these boxes because we really want to, um, you know, put our money where our mouth is. And if you're familiar, last year we took 100,000 signatures to DC to ban glyphosate. So I think these products fit nicely into our, our portfolio. Thanks, Jeb. Anthony. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, Jeb, uh, nice nice job on the presentation. Appreciate that. Always fond of mega foods. Hey, uh, I hate to do this, but I don't think you answered Greg's question. Um, why would I buy this magnesium over everybody else's? And, and how does the magnesium as a product stand up to the virtues and values of mega foods? So if, if you're, I mean, there's, there's, it's quite a saturated category. So if you look at other products, I don't think there's a product out there in this channel, maybe in a practitioner channel, um, but there's not a malate, citrate, and glycinate on the market. Um, I, th I think it is one of a kind um, when you look at you know, other competitors in the space. Um, and as for like just checking mega food boxes, um, I I'm not sure if, you know, if there's something that, that you're looking for further, but you know, it checks our certification boxes. It checks our regenerative boxes. Um, you know, our integrity boxes. So I, I'm not sure if there's a box that you're looking for us to check that I'm that I'm missing. But I think I think efficacy? it efficacy compared to other yeah compared to other magnesiums. 
Um, right now, I don't. Ha I can't say I have a clinical study on it. But when you look at efficacy of our minerals in general, and you look two years ago, we launched uh, a clinical study on our blood builder, our iron supplement, which it's the number one selling tablet in the industry. So um, that that speaks to our quality. And, and how we create minerals. And I think, I don't think we're going to own the magnesium category like we own the iron category. But um, I, I think this, this magnesium is, is quality. And I can't say that I have a clinical study to present in a year, but we are so, working on more clinical studies on all of our supplements across the board. So if I needed a headline to tell my wife to buy Mega Foods Magnesium in July, what's the headline? Why should she? Um, it's it's bioavailable. It's 300 milligrams. It's three forms of magnesium that are very available uh, or bioavailable, I should say. Whether um, you know your malate is pain management, um, and your your citrate and glycinate work to ease muscle tension and nervous you know ner nervous tension. Thank you very much. Great answers. I appreciate it. Now we're going to move on to our next. Oh, and I want to remind everybody that if you want to ask Jeb questions and follow up with him, please scroll down on the site so you can get to the Mega Foods segment and, and, and do that. Um, Algatech with Ken Seguin. Lovely to have you, Ken. And Heather Bernardo and Andrew Halpner will be joining us as mentors. Thank you, Karen. And hello, mentors. Uh, I'm very glad to be with you today, and I'm going to be talking about Algatech's newest ingredient, Fuco Vital. It's a microalgae derived, very innovative complex for liver health. And even more broadly than that, it addresses various issues associated with metabolic syndrome, such as glucose and lipid management. So I want to start off with an, what I think is an eye popping statistic. One in four Americans today suffers from non-alcoholic fatty liver. It's incredible. This is the problem of tomorrow. And the pharmaceutical industry is well aware of this. There is a gigantic investment going right on right now. And it's because it's estimated by the year 2025, it's gonna be a $30 billion pharmaceutical industry. And as of right of this moment, there are no pharmaceutical solutions. And we believe this is really an opportunity for our industry, for the natural products industry to address this. So we're Algatech. We've been producing ingredients from microalgae since 1998. We are the company that perfected the glass closed tube photobioreactors that we use to produce our ingredients. It's an inherently eco-friendly process. We like to joke that our biggest waste product that we make is oxygen. So fucoxanthin is a carotenoid and it's actually quite common. It makes up the pigment in seaweed. And it's often thought that this is the secret of the Japanese diet. And clinical and preclinical studies have established that there are benefits for anti-inflammatory benefits, benefits for liver health, glucose management, and triglyceride management. And right now, all the fucoxanthin in the marketplace is derived from seaweed, but it's also found in microalgae. And that's what Algatech has done. When we started this process, we worked with uh, Dr. Joseph Tam, Hebrew University in Jerusalem, doing some cell study tests, comparing fucovital to fucoxanthin for its ability to prevent deposition of lipids inside the liver cells. Fucovital was over as twice as effective. And we suspect that increase of efficacy is due to the other ingredients found in fucovital derived from microalgae that are not found in fucoxanthin from seaweed. So this product is going to be addressing liver health, liver fat, and other metabolic issues such as glucose, triglyceride management. It also supports healthy weight loss and gluconeogenesis. Algatech applied for and was awarded a new dietary ingredient notification, an NDIN, for this product. It's patent pending for both composition and for uh, liver health applications. And we are going to be starting our own uh, placebo-controlled double-blinded study a little later this year. So Fuco Vital, it's not only a very fun word to say, we believe this is going to be a very important ingredient addressing major human health concerns. And uh, do you have any questions for me, mentors? 
Heather, would you like to start? And I'll remind everyone, if you're not seeing the actual person speaking, you can toggle through the, the pictures and see everyone. I managed to toggle through and found it really impressive, Ken, that you actually matched your background to the slide design. That was pretty impressive as well. Yep. Yep, we got the team of designers working, Heather. Yep. I appreciate that. So one thing I find really notable is how you have actually addressed the sustainability and safety of production. Could you talk a little bit about identifying the right alga to use in uh, extracting Fuku Vital and how you've managed to scale that up with sustainable production? Yep, yep. Well, you know, there's actually estimated to be anywhere from maybe 200 to 800,000 species of microalgae. There's a lot of them and they're plants, you know, and they vary just like, you know, pine trees are different from cabbages. And so, so are the microalgae and in terms of the constituents and components and things that they produce. And, you know, our business in, has been in, uh, primarily in the past has been in astaxanthin. And that's really where we've developed this closed tube system. And the advantage of that is we are able to control it completely to prevent contaminants. Both Fucovital and astaxanthin are powerful antioxidants and it's absolutely necessary, vital that you have to produce a pure product because any impurities lead to oxidation on it and it affects stability of the product. So really Algatex attention has been focused on producing, using the system that we developed to, to produce this. Andrew. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ken. Um, you mentioned that Fuco Vital was different from seaweed derived Fucoxanthin because it contains other compounds. Can you talk a little bit about what they are and how the process standardizes so you get consistent, you know, material from batch to batch? Yeah. So the product is standardized to Fucoxanthin it at three percent. And then the other constituents, you know, it's it's a forest of compounds in there. There's a lot of things, but especially important are the fatty acids. Uh, we know with astaxanthin, they, they are responsible for an increase of bioavailability. And, you know, we don't know, but we suspect that they could be also responsible for the increase of efficacy that we're seeing. But it is a forest of material in there. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great presentation. And now we're going to move on. Remember, you can look up Ken under the company name and ask him direct questions yourself or schedule a meeting. And we're going to go to AIDP. James DeNicola Antonio will be joined by our mentors, Greg Horn and Alan Lewis. Hi, James. How's it going? It's going great. Good. Can you uh, see my screen? Yes. Okay, Sorry. perfect. Okay, so this is Dr. James DeNicola Antonio. I am the Director of Scientific Affairs for AIDP. Um, my presentation is going to be on magnesium L3 and 8, and we're going to focus on mood, stress, and sleep. So most people understand the importance of magnesium, but when it comes to mental health, it's really magnesium in the brain that is needed to synthesize serotonin, which is the feel-good neurotransmitter important for mood. And also magnesium in the brain is needed to actually synthesize melatonin, which is important for sleep. Uh, so again, it's the magnesium in the brain that controls our feel-good neurotransmitter and helps us sleep. And the same thing with two other feel-good neurotransmitters. It's the magnesium in the brain that helps us synthesize dopamine, which is a feel-good neurotransmitter, as well as which gets converted to norepinephrine. So basically what you have here is when you have deficiency of magnesium in the brain, this leads to a reduction in the three feel-good neurotransmitters, serotonin, noradrenaline, dopamine, and then obviously melatonin, which is important for sleep. So this can lead to stress, depressed mood, sleep disturbances, and then this leads to further magnesium excretion. And then basically it's this vicious cycle of you know further brain magnesium deficiency. Now, if you look at typical magnesium supplements on the market, uh, take for example, magnesium citrate, that's actually primarily used as a laxative uh, magnesium oxide is cheap and has poor bioavailability. And then glycinate and malate have better bioavailability, but they don't increase brain magnesium. And that's where magteen comes in, which is magnesium L3 and 8. It's the only magnesium supplement that actually increases magnesium in the brain. And other magnesium supplements fail to do this. So you can see that here, uh, that only uh, magnesium L3 and 8 boosts uh, magnesium levels in hippocampal neurons. Uh, citrate, gluconate, malate, and glycinate do not do that. And only magnesium L3 and 8 also significantly improve functional neuronal terminals, 
whereas the other magnesium supplements were not able to do that. And the reason is, is because only magnesium L3 and A increases magnesium in the brain. And you can see that here, um, cerebral spinal fluid magnesium levels, only magnesium L3 and A significantly increases that. Magnesium chloride and gluconate do not do that. And that was it. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you very much. So I'm going to start with you, Greg. Have you got a question for James? Uh-oh. Go ahead, Alan, you start. Yeah, so this is wonderful science and it's really fun. And we're big users of uh, magnesium. In fact, mega food magnesium because I can get it at my store. But what were the natural sources of L3 and 8 in our diet or in the environment? And if they are, if this is so important and has been so important, why are we not all uh, <laughs> really under functioning? Yeah, that's a really good question. And so where we, the reason why magnesium L3 and 8 works so well is because it's matched with our evolution. 3 and 8 is actually a natural metabolite of vitamin C. And so we used to consume anywhere from a thousand to 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C um, for, you know, either for the past 30 million years, really, um, through primate evolution and then even through um, hunter-gatherers for the last 2.6 million years, we were consuming vitamin C through um, not just plant sources, but also consuming the entire animal. And so uh, our estimates now, the typical American only gets like 60 milligrams of vitamin C. And so we're not converting uh, the high vitamin C that we used to get into 3 and 8. And so that's why, um, you know, magnesium L3 and 8 is sort of like a, a hack for, um, you know, now that we're not consuming a ton of vitamin C, we're not forming that three and eight, which is needed to bring magnesium into the brain. And, and mm. it's the only compound that can do that. Thank you. Nice. Hi, so James, great presentation. I've been a big fan of the research that's been evolving around magnesium L3 and eight and the fact that it does actually uniquely cross the blood brain barrier. Um, my, my question is really around, you know, around the IP. Can people just put this together themselves or do they need to actually buy the AD, AIDP material? Yeah, it's got to be the AIDP material. Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. so was, patented. This is, this is yeah. patented and, the, and the, 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 if, you, if you're Correct. able to look at the research, which I've done, uh, which is compelling, uh, the only place you can get it is, is through the magnesium, the mag team product that you're selling. Is that correct? Exactly. Correct. Thank you. That's a great point. I mean, we have primarily asked when raw ingredients to do this program that they be branded ingredients for that kind of reason, for this kind of research and that input. Um, Makes sense. Go ahead. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, we, I mean, we have clinicals um, with Magteen on uh, improving cognition. Uh, so it's, it's definitely, you know, uh, you know, with clinicals and patented, so you got to get it through AIDP. Thank you very much, gentlemen. We shall move on to Sibelius. Luciani is coming on. Um, Luciani is gonna be joined by Anthony and Alan. Hello everyone. Hi Luciani. So today I'm going to speak to you about Sibelius Sage, a great ingredient to support your mental wellness. Our brain needs everything for our ability to think, act, and live well. And as we age, these activities that were once taken for granted become more challenging. Where are my keys? What was I thinking? Sounds familiar? According to global statistics, one in two other states that losing their brain capacity is one of the biggest fears as they age. Not to mention that by 2030, seniors are expected to outnumber children under the age of 10. Indeed, cognitive decline for an increasingly aging population is a major health issue. So what can we do? Well, along with diet and exercise, there is much more we can do to stay sharp or focused at work and school. Our Sibelius said, 
gives a fast lift to cognitive performance for those looking for a non-caffeine native natural brain boost. And what do users feel? Most users comment on feeling more alert, focused, or sharper. Now, let me ask you a few questions. Can you think of a botanical ingredient for cognitive health that provides immediate benefits? Is this ingredient backed up with strong scientific evidence? If you're struggling with the answer, it's probably because you still haven't heard about our Sibelius seeds. The use of seeds for cognition and memory is not new. It dates back to ancient times and has also been proven in modern research. Going beyond, Sibelius has investigated how the seeds extract works in the human body, bringing to light its unique health benefits. We have completed two human studies in different demographics and have demonstrated up to 30% improvements in memory, focus, and attention, the three main consumer concerns in the brain health market. And these effects were noticed within one hour after supplementation. Anecdotal evidence suggests that the ingredient in a beverage format works within just 15 minutes. With consumers becoming more savvy with respect to science and the desire to feel a product working, Sibelius said, our non-GMO project verified and patent pending ingredient is an excellent addition to any brain health supplement. Its flexible delivery format allows for multiple applications from capsules and tablets to beverages, jellies, or even dairy products. I would like to leave you with three key points that describe our Sibelius said. It's safe, efficacious, and works fast. It's the safe solution for your brain. Thank you for listening. And please contact us if you want a free sample. Thank you so much, Lugiani. Um, I'm step to our mentors and ask Anthony if you want to ask the first question. All right. Well, we're waiting for Anthony, who's you know braving it out on the phone. Go ahead, Alan. <laughs> so. I'm really curious. You didn't talk about the 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 metabolic pathways that mm -hmm. are being triggered by Sage that could make this work within ten minutes or an hour, and um, I, it brought so many things to together. And I I believe it, but I got to explain it, and the retailers yeah. have to explain it too. Could you take a shot at that? Yes, for sure. So we've investigated different metabolic pathways that say it works. Uh, the most uh, common one that most people know is the, uh, the cholinergic effects that the ingredient has. Um, and this is very closely associated with the memory angle. Uh, but we, we've done also some in vitro work to investigate the other effects of SAIDs, including the uh, our SAIDs actually shows dopaminergic effects. Uh, that are associated with a focus and attention angle, uh, but also anti-inflammatory effects that uh, are more mainly associated with the age-related cognit uh, cognitive decline, uh, basically. So there are three different pathways that we've investigated, and we have studies around uh, these areas that prove this. Thank you. I answer your question. <laughs> Anthony, are you on? Rebecca says you're there. I'm back. Yay. I'm back on. My phone decided to die. I didn't realize <laughs> I had used up all the battery already today. That's right. Um, Go ahead. So I missed most of the presentation, so I'd be uncomfortable asking an unqualified question. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Alan, do you have a quick question? We've got a minute left. Well, well from a retailer's perspective, I'm in the aisle trying to sell this product you didn't have time to talk about the traditional uses and the and the kind of the long standing knowledge for how uh, oregano sorry how how sage could make this happen can you talk about other traditions that are using it consistently well, SAIDS has, uh, I mentioned uh, on my presentation that um, all, SAIDS has been used for thousands of years yeah uh, as an ancient remedy uh, for cognition, dementia, and all these uh, diseases. There are also studies around Alzheimer's disease as well. Well, we're not selling it for a disease, of course. It's a supplement, a herbal supplement, and we all know that. But uh, there are, um, not only there is a long tradition, but also new clinical studies that prove this effect uh, for say it's herb. 
So there is lots of evidence, and if you contact us, we can provide uh, all the documents that you need to support the effects. Perfect. Thank you guys okay, so much. You. I appreciate it. And, we are, uh, and remember, you can go contact Lukiani directly if you just go down underneath the screen and find their website, send her an email. So we're going to move on to quality of life and Dan Lifton, CEO. Dan will be joined by Anthony and Andrew. Hello, Karen. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for the opportunity uh, to present to you today. Um, to very briefly introduce quality of life. Um, Karen, can you uh, are you able to see my screen? I do not see slides. Okay. Uh, give me just one second, uh, if everybody could. All right. So share a screen. All right. Uh, here you go. Application window. All right. Hopefully this will work. Uh, how's now, Karen? No. Yep. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. There you go. Wow. Um, so to briefly introduce quality of life, uh, we have built a brand around guaranteeing uh, results backed by clinical endpoints. And the way we do that is with proven science. Our guarantee represents what we mean by proven science, specifically ingredients, all ingredients that are validated in human, not just animal studies, and delivered in dosages uh, shown to be effective in humans. Today, I'm going to speak to you about a uh, very relevant and much discussed and perhaps even cliche topic of immune health. Uh, that is represented by two of the products you see here in the center, uh, utilizing an ingredient called AHCC. Uh, immune health category has been uh, experiencing very dramatic growth, as you all know, and there's no shortage of products. Uh, what I am uh, hoping to do today is to convince you that um, you should reach for the most proven and clinically validated product, and that is AHCC. So let me briefly introduce this ingredient to you and then share some of what we believe to be the proven science about it. HCC is a pot patented novel molecule uh, that is uh, extracted from cultured roots of hybridized shiitake mushrooms, a very special uh, type of mushroom um, that is rich in uh, a very specifically structured alpha-glucan. Alpha-glucans are uh, polysaccharide similar to beta-glucans, um, and they're very well absorbed in the gut. It is a highly engineered product that is produced over a period of 90 days, um, and it induces immune response by coming into contact with key toll-like receptors in the gut. These receptors are actually most often associated with immunotherapy, and HCC is very widely used in integrative oncology in Japan, Asia, and increasingly in the United States. Um, as well as in areas of infections, viruses, and fungi, which is what I will focus on today. HCC works at two levels. First, it activates the number and activity of dendritic cells. You can think of dendritic cells as border guards. They live anywhere in your body that is exposed to the external environment. That includes respiratory tract, nasal passages. They catch invaders as they try to enter the body, chop them up, and turn them over to another type of cell called T cell to get rid of it. HCC has also been clinically shown to increase natural killer cells that are uh, like Navy SEALs. They identify uh, those uh, hidden spies and invaders, attach themselves to them, and get rid of them as well. So HCC works on both of those levels. Here's why HCC is proven by science. We have more than 20 human clinical studies and more than 50 PubMed index papers uh, uh, across areas like influenza, bird flu, West Nile virus, human papilloma virus, and now there's an ongoing study on COVID-19 as well. And on that note, I'm happy to take questions. Thank you very much. Anthony, how about you start? Yeah, I thought it was a great uh, presentation, Dan. And, you. Uh, you know, uh, be, I'm a big mushroom fan uh, since introduced by uh, Paul Stamets many years ago. So uh, sounds fabulous, man. I really liked your presentation. And I already want the product. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate the kind words. So, Andrew, do you have a question? Sure. Thank you, Dan. Uh, I've been a big fan of AHCC for years. It's a, a great material. You were talking about the alpha-glucans. And can you talk a little bit, do we find these in other mushrooms? There's lots of mushroom products on the market. But why, why is this really so unique? It's a great question. So mushrooms are well known or best known for beta glucans and beta glucans are fantastic. We highly recommend them both whether they come from mushrooms or, or yeast. Uh, 
But alpha-glucans are different molecules. And in fact, the HCC was specifically developed because the levels of alpha-glucans tend to be extremely low in mushrooms. They're barely present. Um, so the hybridization process was specifically designed to concentrate them and increase their number. And then the 90-day manufacturing process utilized to change their structure and make them more bioavailable. We have some data to show that they can be more potent than beta-glucans, and they can certainly be more synergistic. Uh, but it is really the magic is in uh, the alpha-glucans and their specific structure. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dan. And remember, you can directly email Dan down below on the Quality of Life mini site. Great. So we're going to move on to Southeastern Reduction and John Nizio. And with that, we're gonna bring up Heather and Alan. Yay. Just waiting on John. Can you see me? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Greetings. Southeast Reduction is a 74-year-old company, and we make focaccia on the flower. We envision a planet where the digestive microbiome in humans and animals is championed by natural ingredients. <laughs> Our part in this cause is to provide a plant-based antioxidant fiber high in polyphenols and proanthocyanidins that also supports regenerative farming and zero waste. Applications include nutraceuticals like capsules, baked goods, food bars, healthy chocolate products, smoothie mixes, and pet food and treats. Now, typically, pecans are cracked and the shell is thrown out while we enjoy that sweet pecan kernel. Throwing out the shell has been a great mistake. Pecan shell functions to protect the pecan kernel from aging. It does this not only by the fiber barrier, but more so because the shell is loaded with antioxidants. Because not all fiber is the same. Imagine a natural ingredient where the antioxidants are available without having to digest fiber. This is exactly what you have with pecan shell flour. The photo shows the type of fiber in pecan shell flour that is stained in a green luminescent dye. Each particle has an open pit canal leading to a central cavity where the antioxidants are contained. The circles show that the ends of each canal are open. The digestive solution simply has to flow through this network. Another benefit is in the rounded oval particle shape, which could be the least irritative fiber on the market. To further exemplify the antioxidant benefit, that aspect was performed and is a preclinical measure of bioavailability. Almost 99% of the total antioxidants in pecan shell flour are able to be extracted and absorbed in human liver cells to offer protection. This chart is available on our website on the nourishment page. From a regulatory standpoint, pecan shell flour is FDA grass as a source of fiber and antioxidants and FEMA grass as a natural flavor complex and flavor carrier. A safety study was performed and pecan shell flower had a 50% higher, no adverse effects level than sugar beet fiber, cornbread fiber, and barley fiber. Did we mention resveratrol? It's there. To summarize, we upcycle a natural ingredient that is traceable back to the farm and this can be utilized by itself in a capsule form or as an ingredient to add the baked products, food bars, smoothie mixes, and I'd be glad to answer your questions. Thank you so much, John. I will say the best pecans I've ever had have been shipped from John to my house. So thank you for that. Heather, would you like to ask a question? Absolutely. I love the fact that you're actually working from an upcycling perspective, but from a personal angle, uh, what does this ingredient have in terms of an allergenicity profile? Does it require uh, allergenic labeling? Uh, does there need to be any kind of disclaimer for customers like me who may have tree nut allergies that might be concerned about the safety profile? That is a super question, and we get that, asked that often. Um, if, if 
we measure the uh, pecan allergen in pecan shell flower. Uh, typically, it's just not shown. It's not there. It's not detectable. However, FDA had, does not have a zero lim absolute zero limit. If you suspect or it could be there because it was processed on equipment, the pecans were processed on. You have to state may contain pecans, and that would go with our product. Thank you, Alan. So um, re really well done. If I'm a consumer reading a label, either a dietary supplement label or a baking mix label, what does this ingredient look like? Is it actually listed under ingredients? And how would it change the nutrition facts and the, uh, on the supplement facts label? So that from a consumer perspective. It's going to look like pecan shell flour, or it could say pecan shell fiber on the label. And basically, uh, we are 70 to 80 percent total dietary fiber. So it will influence that on a label. Right. Calories, um, sugars. No sugars. Uh, calories, uh, since it's uh, insoluble fiber, it's negligible. And then the, you mentioned antioxidants and resveratrol in particular. Are those in quantities that could be brought in to the supplement facts label based on the pecan shell powder that's in the product? You know, I'm not sure how much you would have to have. This is the equivalent to red grapes, like raw red grapes. It's about the same equivalency to that. Um, so I'm, I don't know how to answer your question on that. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, John. That was a great presentation. Um, we are going to move on to... Uh, someone everyone will recognize in the industry as um, Rick Yonke from American Biosciences, but this time he's coming to us with extraordinary extracts. So welcome to Rick, and we're going to have Andrew and Alan as our mentors. Hello, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, let's see. So I'm just going to start my slides here and hope that uh, hope that shows up okay for you today. Uh, once again, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Rick Janke, and I am a partner with Extraordinary Extracts. Uh, we're an all-natural ingredient manufacturer located in California's beautiful Carmel Valley. As a matter of fact, you see a picture of what it looks like outside our door almost every day. And uh, today what I want to offer you are uh, ingredients and finished products that are totally unique and proprietary. They have a clear advantage over the competition and are highly effective and have the research to prove that. So let me get back to extraordinary extracts. Um, what we do is we use our own patented extraction technique to isolate the most effective parts of plants and herbs that nature has to offer. In our brand new extraction facility, we have the, the ability to produce ingredients, we can provide ready for retail uh, finished products. And finally, if you need something that you can't find anywhere else, uh, you know, because of one reason or another, be it the, the current pand uh, pandemic, or it's made it difficult for you to import uh, a, a particular extract, we have the ability to make uh, custom products to your specifications. For instance, for instance, Extraordinary Extracts is currently uh, manufacturing two unique, highly effective ingredients, fermented wheat germ extract super concentrate and cannabidol uh, complete spectrum whole hemp extract powder. First, fermented wheat germ extract uh, super concentrate was developed in conjunction with Nobel laureate Dr. James Watson at his world-renowned uh, research facility in Cold Spring Harbor, New York. Using the most advanced methods of active ingredient identification, we isolated the active ingredients in fermented wheat germ and con uh, concentrated them into an ingredient that has the ability to rescue mitochondrial function and coordinate an effective immune response for both innate and adaptive immunity. Next is cannabidol complete spectrum whole hemp extract, which offers the highest ratio of CBDA to CBD because extraordinary extracts patented extraction method maintains high levels of CBDA throughout the extraction process, producing a hemp extract that is more absorbable, uh, hits more of the cannabinoid receptors, and is highly selective at, at, at inhibiting uh, inflammation. 
Plus, cannabidiol is a powder, so it could be used alone or combined with other ingredients. If you're interested in learning more about my branded ingredients, retail products, or if you need custom manufacturing, feel free to visit my mini, uh, my mini site on this uh, website here. And of course, I'll take any questions now. Thank you very much, Rick. Um, and I'm going to turn this over to Andrew to ask our first question. Sure. Thank you very much, Rick. Uh, the information on the whole hemp extract is really interesting, especially the CBDA to CBD ratio. Now, of course, hemp contains other cannabinoids. Do you characterize other cannabinoids in there like CBG and CBN, and do you follow those to the extraction process? Sure, absolutely. Um, we consider ourselves to have one of the most whole, whole hemp extracts just because our extraction technique doesn't really manipulate or change all that much from what's actually located in the hemp plant. Great. Thank you. Alan, I'm guessing you have a retailer related question. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so many uh, ways to go. You know, I'm sitting here in Boulder and I'm on the Colorado hemp uh, oversight committee with the governor and all of that. And the, it's frightening how many of these um, extracts are done with, um, really dangerous chemicals. And of course, we know that from the Clean Label Project, how many of those leave residues um, in, in a hemp extract. So I, I popped into your website. I didn't see you disclosing your method except to describe it organic uh, as our, an organic method, but that would be a tremendous leg up to retailers, Karen, to be able to say this product is clean. So can you speak to that? Sure. It, it, it really depends on, I guess, which country you're talking about in terms of, you know, what's left over after the extraction. Some countries are more uh, strict than others. We are well below the parts per million of any of any uh, of anything that's left over. As a matter of fact, it's almost down near zero. Um, so and, and that that information I could gladly disclose to you uh, anytime. OK, thank you. Sure. We've got time for one more question. Rick, you can go ahead and quit sharing your slides because they didn't actually come up for everyone, but they will be in Rick's file where you can also send him an email. So, Yeah, sure. I have a, another question. So you have the wheat germ extract and the whole hemp extract. What is the next unique extract that's uh, kind of in the pipeline? Uh, we're working on a couple right now. Right now, again, because we're in the middle of just maybe the most farms you'll you, you could possibly put in one area. We have access to all different types of vegetables in 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 quantities you wouldn't believe. As a matter of fact, we take a lot of what's being thrown out because the farmers are unable to sell them. One of our big ones right now is a broccoli extract that we're working on. Great, thank you. Thank you so much, Rick. All right, thank you. Thank you. we're going to move on. We have two left before we go to Thirsty Thursday. So we're going to move on to three, I'm sorry, to Vivo Mega. We're going to bring on Chris Hatchie, and our mentors will be Heather and Anthony. All right. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for having me. I'll be presenting uh, Vivo Mega Supercharged Formulas. Uh, for GC Reaver. GC Reaver is a privately owned Norwegian based company since 1879. A global provider of GMP certified omega-3 concentrates under the Viva Mega brand. Uh, they do business globally uh, and are located and have warehouses in Norway, Canada, US, EU, Australia, and Asia. The quality GC Reaver oils Viva Mega sets the global standard in quality and is above and beyond all other fish concentrate monographs. Minimum three-year shelf life, production according to ISO 9001, HACCP, and GMP. Specifications, a wide array of Viva Mega concentrate offerings, just DHA, EPA, or a combination of EPA and DHA content. Viva Mega is offered in an ethyl ester, traditional triglyceride, and a TG premium, which is a TG 90% offering as well. A high concentration capabilities with over 800 milligrams per gram of EPA and DHA delivering exceptional sensory parameters, neutral taste and smell in these oils. Technical advantages is a state-of-the-art tailored production facility, use of mild efficient enzyme technology to produce tailored solutions for our customers, superior taste, smell and low oxidation content, minimum again, three-year shelf life, 
we have a dedicated R&D product development team and a fully integrated production laboratory. Why is that important? Offering, we can offer health specific solutions based on clinical trials. Some examples of that, health, brain, child, pregnancy, and immune, which is top of everybody's mind these days. Uh, environmental friendly profile, produced using enzymatic process, as I mentioned, which is a very green uh, chemistry in its finest. No harsh solvents, waste material, the biodiesel is actually reused to power our facility. And we are a leader in environmental stewardship and fishing practices, member of Friends of the Sea. Supply chain, GC Reber has been a reliable supplier for over 100 years. We have a minimum of 24,000 metric tons of crude oil secured in our, in our facility at all times using our state-of-the-art state tank farms. Uh, raw materials are sourced only from sustainable fisheries, fully traceable from cold water fisheries. Thank you. If you have any questions, certainly you can check uh, Barrington Nutritionals or gcreber.com. And go to the bottom of the page and you'll be able to find the link where you can send an email. Heather, do you have a question? I do. I love the, you know, the concept of green chemistry. It has a really nice ring to it. But could you maybe address what exactly does that mean to me if I were a consumer trying to understand why you use green chemistry and what that means to this uh, state of the art quality that you discuss? Sure. It really goes to you know, not all omega-3s are created equal. One of the advantages or disadvantages of GC Reber is they've lived and died on the quality of their product. Um, if you think about, um, you know, again, setting the global standard of quality, so the lowest um, PCBs and dioxins, uh, it's very important for them for their first run. So even, even water supply, uh, the, like I said, you reusing the bio, bio, an enzyme as it's understood is very clean. It provides a very low heat application, so very low degradation on the oils, which is the reason why they can produce those very, very good tasting taste and smell qualities. Anthony, what, Anthony, you got a question? Yeah, um, yeah so. You know, I'm very sensitive to sustainable fisheries. Uh, what cold water species are you primarily using? Uh, thank you. Thank you for asking that. It's uh, so primarily anchovy and sardine. And the reason for that, of course, is uh, these, these fish have the uh, shortest or of from uh, egg to full, full fish. So the very low PCB and dioxins. We primarily fish in the Peruvian fishery, uh, which is one of the most regulated fisheries in the world. Um, we also, GC Reber has a stewardship where we have actually people uh, on site with current fishery uh, happening right now for our customers. We are usually offering a week by week uh, overview of that fishery. If anybody's ever interested, I'm happy to forward that, but it gives you a, a, a recap of how that fishery is going, as I say, week to week during those fisheries, two times a year. So Chris, I'm gonna ask my own personal question because I've been taking, I've been monitoring my omega-3 level for three years. And you talk about the concentrated DHA EPA. I want to know if you've done any bioavailability work on the product yet. Yeah, it's it's one of the challenges. I mean, you know, um, you know, I was I was also hoping that you know the on the retail side, you think of you think of people going into that omega three. Uh, it's really you need to do a little due diligence. Everybody has to do that in understanding the value of high concentrate. So really quickly, if you think about. If you think about the value of this thing, it's it's so I can give you a, a a large capsule, and then I can give you this cap, a small capsule of high concentrated. There's actually more EPA and DHA in what we're able to provide than in this capsule. So, and just quickly, if you think about compliance standard in in our world of of, of nutraceutical supplements, is that in in the U.S. today, we have about 12,000 people a day turning age 65. Of those people, they're taking four to seven different pills or regime on a daily basis. So the value of high concentrate, another one, is that if I can provide you a small concentrated omega-3 with higher EPA than that large capsule, from a compliance standpoint, I'm hoping that you're actually going to take it. So, so it's just taking, taking something like this and really bringing it down and just providing the true EPA and DHA and taking out sort of the negative parts of the omega-3. Thank you for indulging me and thank the audience for letting me indulge myself. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna move on to Natal Farmo. Thank you very much, thank you. Chris. 
and bring on Eric Anderson with Greg and Andrew. Hello, folks. Let me just share the screen here and please let me know when that's live. You're good, I think. And we're live. Great, thank you. Um, first, I want to say, uh, you know, thanks so much to the fellow presenters today. I, I think I've learned quite a bit. And um, what we've discussed is kind of the reason why we're, I'm excited to be in this industry, right? Talking about quality, about validation, about uh, clinical evidence, and really trying to um, change health, right? To do, the, to do the right thing by our consumers. And, and that's very exciting. And um, so I represent Notto Pharma. We're the company that brought vitamin K2 to, to the natural products industry. Vitamin K2 is as many Q7. So the question that I would ask today is, can a vitamin change the world? And so I'll spend the next couple of minutes trying to convince you that osteoporosis and atherosclerosis or hardening the arteries, these, these are not normal byproducts of aging. These conditions are an indication of the last recognized vitamin deficiency, vitamin K2. So like vitamin C, vitamin D or folate, you know, these nutritional deficiencies can result in some real obvious issues, scurvy, rickets, uh, neural tube defects. Um, vitamin K2 is indicative of a chronic deficiency as we may recognize in children, but we also very much recognize as we age over time. Research shows us that 97% of the West are deficient in the amount of K vitamins that we need to fully activate the vitamin K dependent proteins. But to be clear, vitamin K2 is not vitamin K1. Vitamin K1, philoquinone, discovered in 1924. This is what the liver needs to coagulate blood. And in fact, Globally, the RDI for vitamin K1 is based solely on coagulation. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. However, it's outside the liver that the menaquinones are more active. And vitamin K2 as menaquinone 7, this is the type of vitamin K that helps to put the calcium in the bones where you want it and keep it out of the arteries where you don't want it. This mechanism is driven by nutrition, not disease. So the vitamin K story is one that our industry should be very proud of, like vitamin D or omega-3s, where researchers make an observation that a population is consuming a lot of some type of food. In our case, it was Nano in Japan. And what happened? Well, people that consume a lot of vitamin K2, which is naturally present in Nato, and now as we've learned in fermented cheeses, um, that these people have stronger bones and healthier arteries. And so taking that observation through uh, in vitro studies, in vivo studies, in human studies showing real outcomes, this is where we can establish that nutrition can make a difference. We now have 20 published human studies showing benefits, adding many to your diet. So how much do we need? Well, for maintenance, probably 45 micrograms per day based upon the population studies. Our studies looking at healthy populations over three years, for example, we looked at 180 micrograms per day to optimize the vitamin K dependent proteins. As retailers, you're probably interested that this is the fastest, one of the fastest growing categories, 48% uh, aggregate sales growth over the past few years. We see this trend growing, starting in bone health, now moving into cardiovascular. So yes, a vitamin can change the world and we are committed to proselytizing the benefits of K2 and I welcome any questions that you may have. Thank you very much, I understand that. So Greg, would I add a question? Sure. Hey, Eric. Great job. Really appreciated the uh, the education there. It's almost a shame that uh, that uh, that we don't hear more about vitamin K two. Um, Give me another three minutes. Yeah, <laughs> then a Q. So actually, that's my question. So so I know that the twenty clinical trials and the compelling case for it. You made that really well. Um, why don't you just tell everyone kind of about your efforts um, to 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 get Menicu and vitamin K two um, yeah, to have its own category. 
So this is the last recognized vitamin deficiency. And if you look at trying to help create an RDI, um, it's, a, it's a long process because first you need to understand what's being consumed in the general population and the different populations. There has to be a compelling uh, public health need. There has to be a direct link to adding the nutrient to the diet to result in a, uh, in a benefit. And so um, that's why you see things like, you know, choline are now being recognized as being very important. Vitamin K1, critical uh, for coagulation. When it was discovered, uh, coagulation in the German and Dutch starts with a K, hence vitamin K. It's still a quinone. But we're not, we're not walking around with folks that are bleeding to death because of deficiency in vitamin K. However, osteoporosis and atherosclerosis, cardiac arteries, the number one cause and number one killer, with adequate K2 in the diet, what we've seen in the population studies and the therapeutic studies, is that you can mitigate the progression of calcification, and even regress. So these benefits go well beyond vitamin K1, and that's why we're, we're building the cases. We just published a paper on the 21st of June in the Journal of Nutrients arguing that, yes, we need an RDI for vitamin K2 separate from vitamin K1. Great. So, Andrew, do you have a really quick question because we're running out of time? Sure. Uh, from a formulating perspective, first, great presentation. Are there ingredients it works better with? Are there certain ingredients I shouldn't put it with? So we see vitamin K2 in lots of uh, multi-mineral calcium combinations, very good. You may want to look at an encapsulation to keep uh, a negative interaction between alkaline minerals, for example. Vitamin D3 is an obvious. D3, you need to make osteocalcin. Vitamin K2, you need to activate the osteocalcin. D3 plays a role in cardiovascular health. Omega-3s, love omega-3s. K2 and omega-3s, great combination. Great, thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Eric. And again, you can reach Eric if you just scroll down and go to his website, his mini website. So our last presentation of the day is the Bio Collective with Martha Carlin. Martha will be joined with Greg and Andrew again, so we can get started, Martha. Thank you. Let me share here. So I'm Martha Carlin. Uh, the CEO of the Bio Collective. Thank you for having me today. Um, the Bio Collective is actually a microbiome research company that uh, for the past five years has been doing groundbreaking research in the human microbiome and building a complex understanding of how microbes work in our gut and contribute to our human health. And really taking a new view of how to take that information and build transformative probiotics that restore function to the gut. So the purpose, uh, really, we have an internal pharmacy in our gut. It makes vitamins. Um, it converts so many of these different things I've heard today, which have been amazing, these products, glucans and vitamin K, different microbes can make all of these things. And if you, you know, if you're a so many people are here are experts in the nutraceuticals industry, you know that microbes make these things. So what we're looking to do is restore the balance to the gut microbiome and provide products that empower people to heal themselves from the inside out, restore production of these critical uh, components to our health from inside our gut. And what makes us different out of probiotics on the market our science and what we're doing to push the boundaries of traditional scientific thinking. So we use predictive analytics based on the computational models we've built uh, using human microbiome samples and complex genetic information. We built a bioflux computational model that allows us to predict and target specific microbial effects in the gut and to build microbial systems that will actually produce the metabolites you need or the vitamins you need. We can successfully map potential effects of multiple microbial strains on health conditions through the microbiome. And this streamlined in, in silico process enables us to rapidly iterate new combinations of rarely used organisms uh, to speed the production of new formulas. We search the globe for novel microbial strains. And for a small company, we have a strain bank 
that I would say rivals some of the larger companies out there, including um, access to an ancient strain bank from our chief scientific officer, Raul Cano. Um, we really have been thought leaders in the microbiome of the gut, and Raul has been a leader in microbial ecology for more than 30 years. So what are we doing? We're providing these truly transformative products. Our first product called Sugar Shift is the first probiotic of its kind. It's a functional system that converts excess glucose into mannitol, which in the gut is a prebiotic for microbes. Humans don't use micro, uh, mannitol, but the microbes do. So it interrupts a number of problematic microbiome reactions from excess glucose in the gut. Uh, we positive results from users. Uh, all the organisms are grass status and a number of those strains in the formula are proprietary to us. It's available now and we have five SKUs ready for launch later this year. Thank you very much, Martha. So, Greg, I'm gonna start with you and see if you have a question. Oh no, let's start with Andrew because Andrew got shortchanged on time. Let's oh, that, that's quite all right, Martha. Thank you very much. Um, very interesting. So the Bioflux system looking at potential effects, is any work towards seeing what actually happens in vivo and turning the potential effects to seeing if you actually see that in humans? Yes, so with our Sugar Shift formula, uh, we actually took the in silico modeling and then we did um, time series. So the product was actually originally developed for my husband who has Parkinson's and it was shown that mannitol could stop the aggregation of the proteins. So when we prototyped the product, we did time series whole genome sequencing of his gut and could see the shift in the microbial profile, the change in the glucose profile, and then we took that data and went into the laboratory and showed how the strains worked more synergistically together to use up the glucose and to produce the mannitol than any of the strains did individually. Um, we also have a, a smaller subset of a healthy population where we've shown the increase in the mannitol gene production and some other and we filed a patent based on the data that we have. Um, and early indications are that nine of our claims are both novel and inventive. Thank you. Awesome. Greg? Congratulations, Martha. I remember talking to you four or five years ago and this computational modeling approach I thought was really a next generation approach. I'm happy to see fast forward four or five years that you've chosen um, blood sugar metabolism in the gut or sugar metabolism in the gut is your primary target. I think there's a huge need for it. And, uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing that plus the other products come out. Thank you. Thank you very much, Martha. And again, I'm just going to repeat myself. You like scroll down and you'll be able to get into Martha's file and send her a direct message. So <laughs> aerobically working, we have completed our 10 presentations for the day and managed to get through the um, opening um, problems with our website, which the company shut down, not us. So um, I want to bring up um, this, the PDF now for everyone to, to go into Thirsty Thursday. Please click this link and don't forget to close out of the nourishment.com so you don't have conflicting internet issues. You have three choices of rooms. You can join one and move around if you want. You'll see who your mentors are when you click. I guess I should do that so I'm seeing the same thing you're seeing. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you so much. Our, our present, presentations were amazing today.